Hello again everybody. So I'm making a new tutorial today on um, we're going to play around with some coffee and we're going to make some sweet as candles. Um, if you hear any any weird water noises in the background it's not someone peeing it's my it's my little aquaponics setup just here. It's just siphoning itself so don't worry no one's peeing in the background. Right so I was just recently in Alaska. I chased uh, my girlfriend over there and, and put a ring on her finger. So she's now my fiance. And while I was there, my future mother-in-law um, gave me some really nice coffee. Diving duck. Where are we? Where's the thingy? Okay. It's actually um, it's actually put together in Fairbanks in Alaska, uh, where my fiance is from. Um, so these are beans. Um, so what I was thinking of doing is I found these I found these really cool textured uh, coffee cups um, at Kmart on clearance um, a little while back, and I thought about making some candles because uh, I've got excessive amounts of beeswax. Making candles, um, but actually infusing some coffee into it, and then putting it in coffee mugs. Um, so very inventive on my behalf, I know, I know, very, very creative of me really. You might be able to hear the peeing in the background, if you, if you don't already, it's going to start up full force pretty soon. Um, so, coffee cups, I ordered a bunch of, of wicks uh, to put in the coffee cups. I showed you the coffee that I'm using, and what I'm actually going to do is if you've seen my infusing oils tutorial what I'm going to do is do this with actually with this coconut oil um, so I'm going to infuse the coffee into the coconut oil and then mix that in with this stuff this is beeswax this is this is actually from um, my home property um, just a big block of beeswax um, so the reason I'm putting the oils in with the beeswax is because it uh, it burns actually quite hot on its own. So what happens in a candle is with the wick in the middle, if it's just beeswax, it'll burn all the way down real quick, and actually the rest of the candle just doesn't even get touched. So when you put oil in there, oh, can you hear that? Yeah, that's not me peeing. So when you put oil in with the beeswax. Um, it actually evenly distributes some heat and the, and the candle will last much longer. Um, so, coffee candle and a coffee mug. Let's see how we go. Alrighty, so my first step is actually going to, I'm going to grind some of these beans in this manual grinder. This is also a gift from my future mother-in-law. Coffee bean grinders are super expensive here in New Zealand for some silly reason and this one's just a little manual one so you can take it anywhere and just chuck some beans in there I don't actually know how many put in I'm, I'm experimenting so we're learning we're learning together chuck this little doodaki on the top here okay get ready Hang on. Ah. See that? Amazing. So here are my ground coffee beans. Here's a double boiler with the coconut oil already in it. And ta-da! So I'm going to let this sit. Um, again, I've already done a tutorial on infused oil, so I'm not going to tell you the whole process, but this is going to sit for about half an hour to 45 minutes and hopefully by that time this is an experiment so I don't know if it's going to work well or not but hopefully by that time the oil will be super coffee -y. coffee -y. here's my coffee infused oil and here's my beeswax it's all melted so I'm going to chuck them together soon and then I'm going to pour them into those coffee cups See that woman there? 
That's my fiance, she doesn't want to look at the camera. But that's okay, one day she will. So these here chopsticks are keeping the wicks straight. That's a bit of Kiwi ingenuity there. Isn't it, girls? <laughs> They have set. Still pretty yellow, but uh, smell a lot like coffee. So, there we go. Coffee candles. I may even put some beans on the top just to make it look extra special. So just for the top layer, I have just put some more coffee beans into just melted some, oh goodness, just melted some uh, beeswax and I'm going to pour that on top of the candles to give it like a coffee bean look. Beautiful. Well, I'm pretty happy with those.